Alright guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel at the Hunter Collective. Uh, today we've got Aaron in the chair and Aaron has asked for a fairly high skin feed and to keep some of the curls on top. There's nothing else inputs I can really add to that at all. I think that is, you know what you want and I think it's a wicked area but I think it suits him as well. This will be more about obviously trimming the top a little bit but about creating shape for curls. Now, there's loads of different ways to do that. Um, essentially, I'm looking at the haircut at the moment and it's got a little bit of a kind of roundness and overhang to it. Just fine, but I just think for, for how lean his face is, I think it's almost ruining the kind of look for how lean his face will be. We can really, really emphasize how sharp the jawline and the cheekbones can be on this one as well. So, wash it, condition it, and then we'll start. Cool. Right, guys, so it's all washed and conditioned. Nice little blank canvas for me now. So, I'm going to comb this out from the crown. Now, I'm going to dry the sides off. Well, I've been working on clipper work, so we'll do it dry. Just using my fingers to dry it off. Again, we're just doing this just to dry the hair, I'm not looking to shape the hair. So just trying it through, just to get ready to start the clip away. There we go. So, I'm going to start, as I usually do when I'm doing a fade, we're on number two. Start way about this high, so I'm going to try and work with what we've got here and just cut this into a square shape. We're probably not moving too much from through there, we're still creating that squareness. So I'm working fairly high up, but I'm going to be using this to create the squareness. So I'm stopping just before the section, so I can work up and off into the head. And I'm using that shape of the clipper, the shape of the head, to work up and off and leave that blend for the square shape that I'm going to create, so I'm working it up and up. That number two is done, now I'm going to blend the number two in to the length of the box. So I want to start creating the shape that I'm looking for, and that way I can work the fade into the shape. Lifting that up, again just taking a little bit off the back. That's pretty much done. I will refine it once we've done the, the majority of the, of the blending as well. So in terms of the actual height of the fade, I want to work with Aaron on this one. I'll ask him where he'd like it to start from. So what do you think? Where, what height would you like to start from? Maybe like sort of that high? That's about right. Is that about right? Yeah. 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 Cool, yeah. Cool. So if I edge out the hairline from like the temple through here, I can use that as a point of reference on the other side to where to start. So then that way the blend's nice and even. Just strengthen it up. Generally with curly hair, it tends to be slightly weaker on the, the hairlines. So we're just going to strengthen this up for them. Start off there. Straight in. Minis. Now I'm only going to drop it down a touch at the back again. We want this to be nice and high, so we want to see a lot of scalp. So I'm going to drop it just very, very slightly to the crown, just because I want to create that shape to the back. Give me a very, very slight drop. And just stop just at the top of the beard. And we'll blend that down later. Match it up into the back. Mm -hmm. Perfect this baseline. Make sure it's sitting perfect. Even both sides. Okay, the fade will be a lot more even that way as well. 
So now I'll lock this in place and use just one of the foils and work them down and just rubbing it across the skin to help take away that foil line. Lock this in place, turn the head towards me and just use one of the foil shavers. Just rubbing it over that line with a nice even blend. Here we go, it's all done. I'm going to start with my zero blade, guard back to 0.5 and work this up. There's a fairly wide gap, say like sort of what, say I'm sure maybe half an inch wide and this is what gives the effect of a nice high fade is that I've still got to work the zero, the closed blade into this as well turns it closed up into my 0.5 and just run it across the line. Work on that lever until I'm happy. That blend from the foil. Now I'm going to work my one guard open and work that into where my two was. Again, rocking it off the head, finishing at where my two finishes. Go to my one. So I close guard. So it's open at the moment. I'm going to close it to halfway. Take that off now and just refine. Yep. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start the other side now. So the reason why I'm starting from side to side is I find that the sides are always the easier part to blend. And also you start to create the height that your fade starting from. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the other side, focus purely on the side, and as I get to the back, that's always the harder part to do. The hair's much thicker, much darker as well. So that's always the harder part. So if you do the easier parts first, get that seamless blend in there, then you can spend a little bit more time on the back, more than trying to do it all at the same time. We'll just go over it a few times to make sure you get all the little hairs and then close it to fully closed to zero and then work halfway up into that as well. And that starts to knock that line out nicely. Well, just work through that lever until you're happy. There we go. Now, one guard on, go back to one half, so leave it down and work up into where my two was. Rock the clipper. So now it's my closed guard, so it's my number one. And work that up into my one and a half. Onto my half guard. Open that as well. And work that into my one. Close guard now, and work that from where my half and my open blade finished into my one. Half, working round, and finishing that side. There we go, that's nice and perfect. Again, replicates the same thing throughout the back. And just 
way through the lever to polish and refine. Half guard open. Work that up into your one. Again, rub this across the line. And it just starts to slowly and nicely come out. Turn it round to get the foil line out. There we go. Now I'm just going to scissor over comb just to perfect the blend. There we go. Now I'm going to wake into the top. So I'm going to trim this top down. So remember the corners are a bit short, uh, sorry, a bit longer in the middle. So again, we'll trim the middle down and ready to take these corners in. Right, so lengthwise in the top, what do you think about taking off the line? What do you reckon? Do you want um, quite a bit off or? I like a little bit of length still on top. A bit of length on top. Yeah. Bit curl, but what do you reckon, maybe about that much off? That right so that'll be like, yeah. So working from the front again, we're just trimming this down. So, take a nice small sections, following the guide previous. Now this, what you're looking to do, as you pull the curls out, put your finger behind and pull it over your finger and that will rest the curls over your index finger. And that way, slide the scissor underneath and cut it to the guide. Same thing again, bring it back over, sit over the, fring, over the finger, and that way you can see your guide, and you also cut the curl as well. If you pull it straight up, the curls just fall everywhere. If you pull it back over your finger, it rests nicely over, it's just easier to see and easier to cut. Less chance of cutting yourself as well. And right back to the crown, and bring it forward. Now a lot more will come off now, there's a lot more length left in this corner. And leave it as you get to the crown. Yeah. Like when you're dark out. We put that. Yeah. 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 Follow your guide. Yeah. Again, shorter the hair, the smaller the section. Go. That is a lot more even at the top. You haven't got that kind of round coming through there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the fringe in to match. Put it nice and bunt across. Follow it round the hairline. What I'm going to do now is create a bit of texture. I'm going to do some slide cutting through this. This will just really break up the curls and soften the curls you get through. It's a good thing when you do slide cutting through curly hair, you're cutting it at all different lengths because it's curling into the scissor. So you can be really short, some bits will be just the end, some bits will be through the middle. You're always cutting maybe the, the curl off a little bit. So what I'll do, wait, roll it all the way forward and wait that scissor all the way through. Wait it to the side. And work it through the sides. Bit of salt spray to the top. Just work that in. Start to really work it and circle stuff, bring these curls out again. Put that through. Now popping the diffuser on. So, what you want here is high speed and the medium heat. What we'll do is just start to work this in circles. And let the heat wear. This will dry it very, very naturally. Put that heat over it. 
and work the circles clockwise, anti-clockwise, restart to bring them curls out. Simple as that. Now what I'm going to do, now it's all dried through, I'm going to just perfect, blend the corners, this is over coat. Perfect that again, put the line in, and then just working along the hairline, I don't want to sheep into the hairline, I just want to strengthen it up a little bit, just working on the corners here, just following that hairline. No zero. Break in between. And the one guard. And work into that north wing part. And the heart, one and a half. Working through. Turn that round. And work down into the beginning. Do. So I'll shake the cheeks for them to create that all nicely detailed hairline. Right, so that is it done, guys. Um, are you happy? Yeah, very happy. Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. To recap, I just went very high um, skin fade to the side. So we went our two first. So also we did a horseshoe first to separate. Then I went there to so the medium to high skin fade. Worked with our on the height he'd like it to be. So, so it's just from maybe where the temp hits the side there, that height. And then just worked it up into our horseshoe. So we felt our two, then put our blend in, and then working our mini cut the line, and then blending that line out. And through the top, he had quite a lot of heavy corners through here. So I just basically evened it out to keep it nice and square and then just broke it up with a little bit of texture just doing some slide cutting through there. So a very simple but very effective way of uh, creating some nice curls from the top. Just using the diffuser a bit of the Regal Gentleman soft spray as well. So happy May Air to the horizon. Yeah, thanks very much. Awesome, guys. Welcome. Thank you. What would you call this haircut then? What would you ask for? Just a, it's just a sort of medium, yeah, I'd say just a medium to high skin fade back the sides and especially if you look curly hair. It's more just working to whatever the preferences you like. So just a, a sort of light trim on the top and just building a shape. Just try and go a bit more of a boxy kind of shape to the hair uh, and make sure the curls are, are going to work and grow out well as well. Um, so yeah, just a, just a regular sort of medium to high skin fade and then just a trim on top and creating that square shape.